The EWPTX version 2 is the most recent addition to the course catalogue from eLearn Security, now known as INE. While this was released over a year ago, I finally had the chance to do this course for myself with the INE annual pass. So today, I'm going to break it down. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you're interested in cybersecurity training and education. The EWPTX version 2 was released back in 2020 and it expands on the existing EWPTX course, aiming to address some vulnerabilities in things like APIs, OAuth implementations, and other recent attacks. None of the existing material has been updated though. The course initially offered SQL injections with filter evasions, cross-site scripting with filter evasions, cross-site request forgery, and XML-based attacks like XML entity expansion. This has been expanding, offering what I just mentioned, plus deserialization attacks, server-side request forgery, attacking cryptography, attacking single sign-on implementations, and attacking API and cloud Im implementations. There's server-side template injections and attacking LDAP implementations. These topics typically include a thick stack of lecture slides, videos, and labs. You can preview this for yourself for free on the INA website. All materials are accessed now through the INE website, so materials can sadly no longer be downloaded and kept offline due to the shift with the INE subscription model. It's a bit disappointing as these slides can no longer be downloaded and annotated manually. You just need to keep your own notes, and the videos can no longer be watched offline for later storage. To earn the EWPTX version 2 certificate, you must complete a 14-day exam, seven of which are dedicated to the pen testing and seven for the reporting. The exam voucher is not included in this course and it must be purchased separately, which is an additional cost of 400 US dollars. The course is aimed to give an experienced pen tester a challenge, but this is where I think the course starts to not live up to its expectation. The initial half of the course content is largely focused on web application firewall evasion. A great mental challenge, but the evasion demonstrated is purely academic. It won't help you bypass commercial grade web application firewalls, such like AWS and Azure, and it won't teach any real practical skill. It really baffles me that there are about 15 SQL injection labs, and it's all based on filter evasion there's not one error-based or time-based injection lab. All of this is left up to the student for additional research on their own, which begs the question, why pay for the course to begin with? And why go the extra step beyond the w standard WAPT course? It's the same story with the cross-site scripting challenges. All challenges are based on WAF evasion and never see any intuitive labs like DOM or stored cross-site scripting. The content in the expansion left me feeling a bit frustrated and even a bit ripped off. In my opinion, it really looks like these materials were rushed. There is not a single new video demonstrating any of the new vulnerabilities and attack methods in the new edition of the course. All of the learning materials is in these extremely long slide decks, but somehow it still manages to have a very vague explanation and it doesn't give any real practical steps for de detection and exploitation. The new labs are frustrating. Out of nowhere, you're now expected to nmap scan networks to find the target and then get started on the attack and then get sidetracked with unrelated vulnerabilities before exploiting a very specific CVE. It's almost as if they're trying to emulate what offensive security do in their labs. Guard value is demonstrated with some of the labs and lectures are blatantly taken from open source training material like Dan Vulnerable Web Application and the Port Swigger Academy. The course also has some clear omissions like file upload attacks, local file inclusion and remote in file inclusion attacks that lead to web shells. Somehow, eLearn Security lost sight of what advanced should mean. It shouldn't be arbitrarily difficult for the sake of it. It should educate students on advanced techniques, not endless brain teasers or tutorials on specific CVEs. If I paid full price for this course when it came out, I honestly would feel ripped off. Furthermore, it's really disappointing to see eLearn put out such a, in my opinion, bad. A student is far better spending their time and money on a service like Pentester Lab Pro 
or better yet, the Port Swigger Academy, which is completely free. Both of these services are regularly updated, unlike this course. So do I have anything positive to say about this course? Well, yeah, there are some good labs and pockets of knowledge sparsely sprinkled throughout this course, but it's certainly not worth the INA subscription cost if this was your prime motivator. But as always, this is just my opinion, and yours may vary. Do let me know if you've done this course and what you think, or if you have any other questions about this course, leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful in your decision making process, then leaving a like will not only help me out, but help other people like you find content like this. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you like this, because I'll be trying to cover all INE eLearn security courses in the coming year. So what would you like to see next? Anyway, I've been Jason from JasonSec, Thank you kindly for the view and I'll catch you in the next one.